So imagine there's a large field and you have been asked to find out how much fencing material will be required to create a fence around it. How do you think one would go about finding that? Well, of course, you'll need to measure the perimeter, which is basically the length of the entire boundary of the field and calculate the material accordingly. So for example, if one meter of fence requires five planks and you know that the boundary is totally 100 meter long, you would require 500 wooden planks, right? But how do we find out perimeters or lengths of irregular shapes in real life? That's exactly the problem we'll try to solve through this activity. So before humans got too high tech and invented modern electronic instrumentations, to survey large lands and get the distance from one point to another, a fairly simple equipment called the trundle wheel was used. The origins of this gadget are connected to the origins of odometer. While the odometer is used to measure distances travelled by a vehicle, this gadget was specialised to measure distances by a walking person. What if I say you can build such a gadget at home with household items and have an interesting day with your kids? What if you can use this gadget to measure the perimeter of your living room? Perhaps the perimeter of your writing desk or the dining table? So, Let's mix science, math, and fun together while constructing this easy but intriguing tool. In the process, we can also learn concepts of measurement, perimeter, circumference, and basic geometry. So let's get started. You'll be requiring the following material. The principle behind a trundle wheel is elementary. But first of all, we'll need to know a few basic ideas about a circle, like its circumference. So circumference is nothing but the length of the boundary of the wheel. Can a child find a practical way to measure it out? You can pause here to discuss with your child if they have any ideas. It's easy, just wrap a thread around the wheel once and lay that thread down against a ruler and there you have the circumference of the wheel. So now we need to create a wheel which has a predetermined circumference. We can create a wheel of a fixed circumference like one meter so that when we take this wheel and roll it on the ground, we'll be moving forward by exactly the length of its circumference that is one meter in this case. Then we can easily track how many rotations have been made to go from point A to point B and accordingly find out the distance between these two points. So for example, if it took five turns of a one meter wheel, we would have moved five meters. So to construct the trundle wheel, there are a few things to decide about. What do you want the trundle wheel to measure? Do you want to measure your living room or your desk or something really very large? Once you've decided on a surface, you need to figure out the circumference of the trundle wheel. How big do you want it to be? Standard trundle wheels have one meter circumference, but if large distances are to be measured, a customized wheel of large dimensions is made with durable material. To understand this idea, just imagine if you create a 10 centimeter wheel to measure distances as large as 100 meter, then you would need to count 1000 rotations. But if you created a 1 meter wheel for the same case, you would need to count only till 100, which is more doable. So decide wisely. To be able to make these wheels, we'll need to create circles from cardboard. And that can be done only once we know their radius. We can find that out using a simple formula. If, for example, our trundle wheel circumference is 100 centimeter, what will be the radius?
Here is a small tabular column which can act as a quick guide if you don't want to do the calculations yourself. Based on the availability of the items at home, you can decide on the proportions. Ideally, to measure a desk, a 50 cm wheel is sufficient. But as the dimensions grow bigger, like to measure a room, then the size of the wheel needs to be bigger too for efficient measurements. So how do you make a circle of 8 cm radius on a cardboard? Using a bangle? Perhaps a compass? But what if the circle for this wheel was larger than your compass can stretch to? Can you think of a way which is compass free? I'll give you a moment to discuss with your child about how you would draw a circle without a compass. You can use a piece of string to draw a very accurate circle. Put a knot at one end of the string and measure 8 cm, then knot it at the other end too. Now using this piece of string as the radius, you're ready to draw a circle. Secure the piece of string using a board pin at the center of the cardboard big enough to draw the circle. Stretch the string to its maximum and tie it to a pencil or a pen securely on the other end. Draw the circle such that the string is kept under tension at all times. Once it's drawn, you can cut it out from the cardboard like this. Now, to make the trundle wheel more accurate, make markings after every 10 cm around the circumference as the 0 pointer, the 10 cm pointer, 20 cm pointer, 30 cm pointer and so on and so forth. But how would you achieve this? So the full circle has 360 degrees and 50 cm circumference needs to be divided into 5 parts to mark at 10 cm intervals. So we'll divide 360 degree by 5 which is 72 degrees and we'll use a protractor and mark out 5 sections each 72 degree apart around the center of the circle and extend these lines to the edge. Mark any one marking as the zero position with a colored sketch pen. To complete the trundle wheel, an arm and an axle are required for it to rotate. Using the same cardboard, two long rectangular strips are cut out for the handle. Precise and matching holes are punched at one side of the strips. For the axle, a nut bolt is used which could be fixed through the center by making a hole. Even the handle strips are fixed to the axle. There, the trundle feel is complete. Now, you are ready to measure the surface of your desk or the living room at a stretch. Start the wheel at the zero pointer and note down the number of rotations as you move the wheel around the surface. The number of rotations multiplied by the circumference of the circle gives the distance measured. With such a convenient tool in hand, is it possible to measure any rough terrain? Sure, why not? But the following guidelines would help you to have an accurate measurement.
So that was all for this activity. Have a fun-filled evening with your children and measure all kinds of surfaces.